It is just about 5 o'clock here. Yeah, what can we expect tonight? A uh, sure sign that spring is on the way. Of course, you guys were just talking about the Rose Kennedy Greenway. We finally have spring-like warmth. And, oh, by the way, on that same topic, check it out. We do have more hours of daylight today at 11 hours and 33 minutes. Of course, don't forget that we have to set our clocks back on Saturday night before bed as we spring ahead on Sunday, losing that hour, but of course, gaining another hour of daylight. And ultimately, too, it seems like the spring pattern all the way through the vernal equinox or the spring equinox, March the 19th, will present warmer than normal air. So it will feel like spring and also start to look like spring, too, not just with the warmer air and the sunshine, but also the spring like showers that we've had today. More will spring up on Sunday, closer to two inches of rainfall across portions of Cape Cod, Bridgewater right, right around an inch of rainfall, and Fall River closer to that amount as well. Here's First Alert Live Radar showing the last few drops of rain as this system is now pushing out towards the north and east. Drier air is already invading this thing, cutting it off on the west-hand side, which will be a sure sign that warmth is on the way tomorrow, and drier skies too. And there will be chilly times throughout the course of the day, specifically as we get started on Friday morning. So tonight, we're down to about 33 to 35 degrees. We are drying out. It's a partly cloudy night with chilly air that really starts to move in underneath that wind from the east-northeast at about 20 miles an hour. Tomorrow morning, that will mean a wind chill at 25, but ultimately highs by the day's end are closer to 45 degrees as the sun returns. Here's a peak ahead at the weekend Saturday morning it's overcast and cool with temperatures just above freezing into the evening time frame as we start to moderate out now our temperatures are right around 45 and the rain arrives after sunset that's key to having a successful Saturday Sunday morning widespread downpours are possible through the early morning hours with things tapering off just before mid morning and by the day's end we're likely to see temps near 50 degrees so let's time out the next round of showers coming in again it's not Friday tomorrow's nice and dry and sunny a beautiful day after several days of rainfall and cloudy skies. Saturday, the clouds move back in and the rainfall builds in from the west and southwest. But notice what not far off here. The snow across the green and white mountains and the presidentials will certainly be good news for some of those resorts that have perhaps had to delay things the past couple of days. It seems like this will be the next system into the weekend if you do have plans to head towards the north. Towards the south, ample rainfall again with totals coming in between half an inch to perhaps an inch and a half of rainfall. With most of that wrapping up by one o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday, I do think think we've seen lingering showers into Monday morning as this system tries to kick it out of here. However, just a little bit of rain we can anticipate for the Monday morning commute, but I don't think it's anything to stop you. And this certainly shouldn't stop you. Look at what goes through Tuesday through next Friday. Plenty of sunshine, high temperatures slowly creeping up. 50 next Tuesday, 53 next Wednesday, 57 by Thursday, and ultimately near 60 degrees for next Friday. Yeah, I'm looking towards that Thursday, Tevin. 57 sounds really nice. Thank you.